All right, moving on to the next one, which again is an important one, especially in textual data, concat function. If any one of you have been working on Excel and they've used this function in Excel, you would understand the importance of this one, especially when dealing with textual data, right? So concat does nothing. In fact, concat does which no other function is able to do, right? What it does is it merges the inputs provided. You provide inputs, it merges the input, right? For example, my name is Saurabh, are four different texts over here it can concat and give me a sentence, which is my name is Saurabh, okay? So the syntax, syntax goes something like this for concat function, which is select the concat, and then you input the columns or the text that you can merge. In fact, we can merge input of a column with a certain text that we want to go for, right? And once we do that, we obviously end our query by giving the table name on which you're working, colon, and the query is done. Pretty straightforward function, but very effective. Let's see it in SQL. All right, so let me use orders here. The table's fine. And if you look at the orders, I think there's something called this address over here. So concat function might, uh, you know, give us a, some good objective here. All right, so select star from address. And if I run this, there's address ID, there's address line one, address line two, the city of the address, the state of the address, the pin code and the country. Now, if I want to create the entire address, let's say I want to have a column where I want to have the entire address. So we can now use concat function and say, okay, concat the address underscore line one with address line two. Okay. And we close the parenthesis over here as complete address. Now let's see what happens. Okay, there is, uh, you have an error in SQL syntax, check the manual, where is it? Okay, okay. All right, got it, underscore address, right? Now this is fine, right? Because we cannot have an alias with space. We can have it, but there's a, another way of doing it. We'll move to that later. But here, the most important part over here is, perhaps I think, you know, uh, the complete address is coming over here now. Now, there's one problem that I've spotted. One is after 14th cross, it's straight away, there's no, you know, space or comma over here because it just merges the two texts together, right? It doesn't care about, do I need to put in something over here in between? You'll have to care for that, right? So what you need to do is to input in between what you like to an X, right? So let me go for a comma over here. I want a comma over here between address line one and address line two. Now, if I run this, now you can see that here after this 14th cross and near BDA complex, we can see that there'll be a comma, right? And if you want to still go for something, let's say comma followed by uh, what? Let's say go for another comma. Okay, it's getting confusing. Right, so I'll go for a comma here and then a space, right? Let me go for this thing and what happens 14th cross, it should be a comma after this followed by a space so that the address looks good. So again, okay, there was no space given over here, guys. It, it was just inverted comma. So I'll give a space and now run it again. So now we can say that this is 14th cross comma and there is space over here. Now, if I want to merge the entire address over here along with city, state and pin code, I'll have to probably repeat this, right? I can do this. And now I copy this and I know that this is what I need to do. Address, there's another comma over here, address line two, and I want to put in what? City here. Then uh, let's go for, right, another comma, and then this, and this is where state is going to come. Now I'll just put in enter here so that we can see the entire query in one go. So address line one, address line two, city, state, and then finally probably I'll go for the pin code and I'll have to put in a comma over here manually. Right, so it's something like this. Then I'll go for pin code and country. Pin code, P and T, right. And then I'll go for finally country. Right, and if I go for this thing as complete address from address, I'll be able to get the entire address over here. Now you can see if you just click on this, the entire address will come up, which is house number 16, sector 4, 14 cross near BDA complex, HSR layout, Bangalore, Karnataka, pin code followed by the country name. This is what concat can do. And concat can actually, so whatever, you can actually concat various other text as well. For example, if I uh, say, let me input uh, some text over here, right? The 
complete address is and i can actually concat this with the same stuff over here right so i'll just the complete address is and then another comma in between these comma there is something like this there is a space right i'll just give a space over there and if i run this the complete address is as you can see the text the complete address is is coming at the same time followed by the entire address i'm i'm actually merging the input of a column with a text here right this can be done with concat as well right so at this point i would not require this i'll remove this i like this way of representing address better right so this is what concat can be done uh, we can merge the first name and the last name as well for example if i go for select tar from employees and okay okay i'm using order sorry i'll just change the database the database is use hr underscore emp i use this particular database run this and then i run this one and now i want to merge the first name and the last name using the same stuff so i'll just do the same thing better to write it down select star and then we'll go for concat right concat the first name give a comma colon so here then the last name right last underscore name done as full underscore name from employees right colon and i'm done right so there is another name uh, there is another column which gets generated which is full name this is how concat can be used and again it depends upon your creativity what exactly do you want to do with this to you know utilize this function completely